This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. That's L I B R I V O X dot O R G. Recording by Christy Nowak. The Door Through Space by Marion Zimmer Bradley. Author's Note I've always wanted to write. But not until I discovered the old pulp science fantasy magazines at the age of 16 did this general desire become a specific urge to write science fantasy adventures. I took a lot of detours on the way. I discovered SF in its golden age, the age of Kuttner, C.L. Moore, Lee Brackett, Ed Hamilton, and Jack Vance. But while I was still collecting rejection slips for my early efforts, the fashion changed. Adventures on faraway worlds and strange dimensions went out of fashion, and the new look in science fiction emphasis on the science, came in. So my first stories were straight science fiction, and I'm not trying to put down that kind of story. It has its place. By and large, the kind of science fiction which makes tomorrow's headlines as near as this morning's coffee has enlarged popular awareness of the modern, miraculous world of science we live in. It has helped generations of young people feel at ease with a rapidly changing world. But fashions change, old loves return, And now that Sputniks clutter up the sky with new and unfamiliar moons, the readers of science fiction are willing to wait for tomorrow to read tomorrow's headlines. Once again, I think, there is a place, a wish, a need and hunger for the wonder and color of the world way out, the world beyond the stars, the world we won't live to see. That is why I wrote The Door Through Space. Marion Zimmer Bradley End of Author's Note